All right, so this is one of the hives that had fell over in my previous video. I haven't looked in this hive in months. I know that's not what we're supposed to do as beekeepers, but sometimes when you ain't got but so much time, you kind of try to deal with stuff the way you can. As you can see, I've got my uh, my hood on already because this line of bees on the back side of my house are my pissy bees and I don't feel like getting stung in the face today. We already got bird comb on the uh, inner cover. Looks like they've already attached the inner cover to some of the frames on the inside. So we've already got a mess. So what we have to do when this happens is we scrape off this wax and you can melt it down and use it for uh, Putting on wax foundation that you ordered from a company that uh, sold, sold you some crap. If you've seen my other video, you know what I'm talking about. Normally when taking this off, if you go slow, you don't normally maybe catch a bee or two. So, there we go as far as the bird comb goes. Now let's check and see how everybody's doing. Got a little bit of capped honey at the top, but the rest of it's nectar, both sides. Capped honey with pollen. And then uh, honey and nectar. We've got a lot of burr comb down there on the bottom. Part of the hive. Which would probably not be a bad idea to remove. Good gracious. Looks like all of it's connected like that. We've 
got worker brood on both sides and lots and lots of burr comb. A lot of times when they uh, put burr comb on the bottom of the frames, it's always drone breed. I knew about need to get another hive body. I'm gonna show you all a little trick that I do from time to time when I got a situation like this. So hold on just a minute and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right. So when you get an interest, when you get uh, a situation like this, Here's an option of something you can do. You can get you another frame or another hive set it in a, either an inner cover or something like that so the bees don't fall out of the bottom of it and you start putting your frames in it that way it frees up this other box and you can get all your frames out and be able to cut the burr comb off from the other stuff. As you can see, we got plenty of worker brood. We got capped honey on the top. That's a beautiful frame. Her laying pattern's good and all that good stuff. And as you can see, that's drone brood on the bottom where the uh, where the burr comb's at. We'll get that up once we get through with our hive. But this is one of the bad things. If you don't go through your hives quite regularly, you end up getting a whole bunch of crap like this right here. And it's just, it's my fault working all the time and when you are off work you've got so much other stuff to do and when you're doing this make sure you put your frames back the way you got them out of the hive try to keep them the same side or same way that you took them out and that way uh you limit the disturb being this disruption of the hive so much and these bees need room desperately We're gonna give it to them. I don't see any queen cells or anything so far. And that's just more uh, worker brood and honey like before. I got me a new toy the other day. And probably by the time you see this, I'll release what it is, but some of y'all were telling me about it, so I ordered one. And uh, we'll be using it here before too long. But you'll be able to see here in a few minutes what I'm dealing with when it comes to uh, this burr comb. More the same on this frame. We just, uh, we've got a little bit more uh, drone brood coming out. Since there's more drone brood on here, I'm going to go ahead and clean this frame up just a little bit. Go down the side of it.
And yes, you do kill a few bees in the process of doing this, but the stuff you've got to, to do, and you really ain't gonna do that much harm to them anyway. I will warn you on it though, normally doing this does piss them off pretty good. But so far these girls have, uh, have actually been pretty good. See how I clean that up? And I'm just shaking the bees back into the hive because we already know that we got a laying queen and all that good stuff. So I'm not really worried about trying to find her. See, that's where they've uh, hatched out and stuff. This is a really good queen. She'd probably be a good queen to graft off of. Which is something I need to do. Oops. She hadn't started laying back into this hive yet. They hadn't completely drawed it out. That's a, a plastic foundation. Now this next frame is beautiful. Good gracious this in there. That's the good thing about the hook on these hive tools. You can get a little bit of leverage on the frames. But I will tell you that if you did not glue and get a good staple in your uh, in your frames, that hive tool will destroy them. Look at that beautiful worker brood. There's a wax moth in the middle of that hive. Wax moth larva. That's all nectar and honey. Same thing on that side. And of course, beer comb. The less bees you crush doing this, the better off you will be, literally. Totally any bird comb on that, but all that is is a little bit of drawn out comb and some nectar and honey. Go ahead and put these other two frames in here for now.
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this top box off, clean the bottom frames up. We're actually gonna add another hive body to this because they need it. But you're fixing to see reason why I'm having to do this. Can't really tell right this minute, but what's this? See all that burr cone? And all you do is run your half tool down it and get it off. Like I said, most of it's drone brood. So you're not really doing a whole lot of damage to the hive by doing this. You're probably actually helping it out in the long run as far as mo removing drone brood. All I'm doing is flipping this down here in the inner cover so I can get it back up when I need to. All right now. So there we go, what we'll do, we'll smack these girls down a little bit. Uh, look at all the bees. There's a pretty good chance our queen's in there somewhere. We're gonna give them just a few seconds to funnel back down in the hive. What I want to do now is pull one of these middle frames out that I have. Just like that. And then our box that we're going to put in its place or on top. We put that one frame up top. We'll put a frame like this in here. The bad thing about doing something like this is the bees start getting pissy pretty freaking quick because you got them all over the place and you can't really smoke them because they're all over the place. Just gonna slide that in there and close it up. Now, all we're gonna do put our frames in here. And close it up.
So there we go. I got to uh, get him off of this bird comb on the front. We're gonna back up, let them get in the hive, and we'll do a closing on our video. All right, so there we go. We uh, give them more room. We cleaned up the hive as far as bird comb goes. It'll take them a little bit, but they'll, uh, they'll eventually start going back in the hive. And I say a little bit, I say within a couple hours or whatever, but that's them going back in. Uh, if I think about it, we'll check back here in a few minutes, or, I don't know, there's a bee trying to stick my hand in. He's trying to get y'all, he was trying to get the camera. But uh, we'll come back in a little bit, and I'll show you how the bees are going in the hive and all that good stuff. But uh, I think we caught that one just in time before it was getting ready to start swarming. So that's a good thing. I'm running out of equipment. I can make the, I got pretty good amount of hives it's just the fact of uh having the frames the foundation and the uh, tops and the bottoms so i keep looking over there thinking i see a swarm in that tree but i don't know hope said we had one that looked like it was swarming the other day but i haven't seen it so but anyway it's neither here nor there hope y'all doing good hope y'all being safe with everything that's going on in the world right now uh if you got any questions leave them in the comments below if you're new to the channel please hit subscribe and come join us we're at almost 13,000 subs and there's a fire ant hill right there uh so hopefully the channel will keep right on growing and that helps give me more motivation to get out here and make y'all videos and stuff if y'all got any questions or got any kind of videos or something y'all want to see just let me know and i'll see what i can do to make that happen for you i think i got stung three times on that hive which a whole lot better than what I thought it was going to be because I figured I was going to get my Botox handed to me. So, hope y'all doing good. We'll see y'all on the next one. Over here are some videos that I also think you would like. So, go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.